Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So this is the long awaited back to school haul vlog, as you can see. Um, it's, what day is it? It's Wednesday, they go back to school next Tuesday. I've left it because um, I've been waiting for stuff to arrive and I'm still waiting for some stuff to arrive. But if I don't do it now, um, I'm never gonna get the stuff labeled and ironed and ready for school so i'm just going for it um i've got my iron brew because i'm very tired the children decided that they didn't really want to sleep last night so i've only had about four hours sleep anyway um so yeah i'm going to go through what we've bought what we do um and yeah i'm going to go through it all and show you what we've got Excuse me, I just drink my iron brew. So, right, this is, this is my spreadsheet. See my spreadsheet? I've been doing this for a few years since, or well, probably since we've had more than five at school, um, because it just got so confusing as to what we had, what we didn't have to buy, what I needed, that I did this spreadsheet, which has basically just got, you know, everything that they each of them kind of needs on it everybody's name apart from that it's double-sided because obviously we've got Leah and Erin as well and it just massively helps um to see what you've got and what you need to buy because there is quite a lot of stuff to get but as you all know already I do keep hold of stuff and hand stuff down um so some people already have things the older girls especially now um have still got stuff from last year that still fits them and still okay to use. Um, so we don't always need to buy everything. Whereas when they were younger, we probably used to replace everything um, every year, but we just, it's so expensive and it's just unnecessary. So we just buy what we need. Obviously the twins are starting primary one. So they needed kind of everything from scratch. I did actually have a load of five to six uniform um, that would have been suitable for the twins. I don't know whether it was the other twins. It might have been belonged to the other twins, but I had two sets of everything, of a few bits and pieces, but it was just, it was too tight on them. Um, wouldn't have lasted them very long. So I bought them six to seven everything instead. Um, they've taken a bit of a growth spurt over the last few months. They've kindly, finally kind of, oh, I can't get my words out tonight. They have finally caught up with their actual age, obviously, because they were premature. They spent a long time being smaller um but they've kind of both especially Leah they've both caught up with their age and kind of have gone past it a little bit because the six to seven stuff does fit them better so I will start with um Leah and Erin uh obviously they've all got school jumpers as well but I haven't got those out I bought um Leah and Erin have got two cardigans each two school cardigans each they're all upstairs so i'll keep them um because obviously they've got logos and everything on so they have got this this little pile with clear and earrings so i've gone for um pinafores for them because it's the only year i'm ever going to get away with putting them in pinafores and they look really cute so we've got three each so we've got the kind of normal bog standard ones. I do love pinafores as well because um, they're just really easy to wash and wear and they're quite hard wearing and they don't take too much iron in as well. So yeah, so there's one each of them. There's two of them, so there's one each. I think they were a pack of two actually. Yeah, they were a pack of two for 11 pounds from Asda, so that was quite good. Um, and then, They've got these ones, there is two. Olivia helped me with the shopping, so she got to pick some as well. These are quite pretty actually, there's two of these. Um, I think they're that way round. So they're quite pretty little pinafores as well, quite girly. They were from Asda as well. They were seven pounds at each, those ones. So they're, they're nice ones. And there's two of those. And then I got them another one each from, I think these ones were from Tesco's actually. Yeah, they were. 
I really like these. These are like jersey kind of material ones. So they literally, you could screw them up in a ball and leave them in a bag and they still wouldn't need any ironing really. Don't quote me on that because that might not be right, but pretty much they've been in a bag and they're not really very creased. So, and they're, they're really cute. They were £12 for two, but they only have one set in, um, in Tesco. I find it quite difficult actually buying stuff for twins. Uh, they don't often, I used to find it with the older twins as well when I used to dress them the same. It's not often that you can go in a shop and buy two of the same thing. Um, which is quite annoying because you end up having to order it online and obviously Tesco don't do anything online anymore clothes wise so although I know you can get some of it in next um, it's just a little bit it just gets a little bit annoying like the coat that I've got for the twins I didn't I didn't have two in the shop so I had to go home order it online I mean it's not you know you can get it online you can get it delivered to the shop so it's not too bad but it's just a little bit annoying so anyway yeah pinafores so I've got three pinafores each so I can, they can wear one, wash one, wear one, wash one. I kind of try and last their uniform out for two days. They'll have a clean shirt or polo shirt every day. And then the rest of it, I try and last maybe two days if I can. If not, they'll have a clean one. So they've also got polo shirts, just normal. These ones are six to seven polo shirts. I got them, I think I got them 12. So two packs of five. And a pack of two. So they've got six each, which means I've always got like a spare one for Monday morning if I haven't managed to do the ironing, which probably isn't all that likely, but um just means I've always got that extra one. So yeah, they're just normal, normal polo shirts, which I mean they say stay white on them. I just kids never keep anything white, especially when paints were involved. So that's the twins kind of main uniform, their tops. Their pinafores, um, like I said, they've got cardigans um, upstairs. And actually, I was convinced that, uh, so the school they go to had a uniform change colour a few years back. And I was convinced that the older twins didn't have any cardigans, or that I didn't have any cardigans in age five to six in the new colour. And then, so I bought them two each. And then I went in the bag of five to six stuff and found another four, three or four cardigans. So now they've got like seven or something ridiculous. But anyway, you know, it'll keep them going. And Agnes will probably use some of them as well. So they'll all get used. And then I can, if they're still okay, I can pass them on to somebody else. So that's fine. So the only other thing other twins have got is I bought them some, I haven't bought them any tights yet because they go back to school next week and it's August. It's still normally quite warm. So I'll buy them tights later on in the year. So I just got them these pretty socks, five packs for like three pounds from, from Asda. Um, these are really cute. It's probably only gonna be a couple of years that I'm gonna get them to be able to wear this stuff before they want to start wearing other things. So I'm gonna make the most of it. And I'm sure I had some of these put away, but I can't find them. So that's for them. Oh, and I got them, okay, so shoes. Right, these are Asda's shoes they are 12 pound a pair now go back to when the older ones were younger and i would religiously buy clocks i, I used to think they had to have clocks as their first shoes they had to have clocks as their school shoes um now obviously there's nothing wrong with clocks but um i found that they were ruining 45 pound pairs of shoes you know, the prices were going up. £45 for a pair of shoes is quite a lot for somebody who's six and is probably going to literally wreck them. Um, and supermarket shoes have come on such a long way over the years as well. I mean, they're cushioned, they're springy, they've got special bits on the inside. You know, they've, they're have they really good now. They never used to be, you know, all that good. They used to be quite uncomfortable, but now they're, they're really good shoes. So I have stopped buying <coughs> Clark's shoes because you know that's it's 90 pound for two pairs of shoes for just for the twins alone and i just i just can't afford to buy clark shoes so um it's just so much money i know you know it's it's they're fine and everything but it's i've just chosen to have supermarket ones instead um so these like i say were 12 pounds each and if they last until christmas that's a good thing but i was finding when i was buying clark's ones for eva especially 
I'd pay £45 and they'd still only last her to the Christmas. And so she'd end up with either another £45 pair of shoes or a supermarket pair anyway. So um, I'm just going to go for these ones. But they look really pretty. I really like these ones. Little flower ones. They're both the same size. They're both a size 11. Um, and they've tried them on. They're very happy with them. This is their first first ever pair of school shoes. So they're, they're quite they're quite happy. They're actually really comfy. They're really squashy. And they've got like a special bit on the inside and everything. I'm quite impressed. So I know you shouldn't put new shoes on a table either, but I just want to that. Lunch boxes. They both need a lunch box. Olivia chose these. They're quite cute. They're from I can't see because of the girl. They're from Asda. And they've got bottles with them. I wanted them to have something. Um because the so the older primary ones have got, no not the older primary ones the older primary children have got separate bottles to the lunch boxes but I know that they it's all so new for them I wanted them to have something with their drink in it because otherwise they'll forget their drink and it, there'll be all sorts of problems so they've got their juice bottle that comes with it which is quite easy to use and I think that's like squashy as well so yeah just your normal normal it's got still got the cardboard in these actually these lunch boxes are brilliant because you can and i don't know if it's recommended i'm not sure if it actually says it on the oh it says dishwasher say i tend to put them in the washing machine but i didn't know you could put them in the dishwasher um so when they get really dirty because we wipe them out every day but when they get really dirty these like insulated ones i used to bung in the washing machine and they used to come out quite nicely so um yeah i've got those ones each and they also have, they're allowed to have a water bottle for, uh, in their classroom. So they've got just these ones, which are like £2 each or something. Um, I quite like the colour. They were from Tesco, I think. They're quite cute. So I'll have to put their names on them so they can tell the difference. And then last for the twins are these. So these little coats from Asda. Their coats from last year are too small, so... It's really not a good colour for school. I know it's not a good colour for school. I know I'm going to curse buying them, but they were really cute. And they do at least have elasticated bits because you know when kids just like put their hand in and then just rub it along everything they can find with the hand in. Um, at least when they do that, they've got black at the ends. We just forget that they'll get that bit minging. But um, yeah, they're quite nice because they've got like fleecy insides, nice fleecy insides as well. Oops, yeah, so I got them in 67, got them one each. They're a really nice color um, and they like them. And they've got a nice hood as well, which looks like it, I bought them some coats from Next last year and um, the hoods were like these fluffy hoods and the coats look lovely, but the hoods don't stay up. And we live in the north of Scotland and you know, when winter comes, winter comes and you're gonna need everything to keep you kind of dry we only live like literally at the end of the road from the school and um you're going to need something to keep you dry so these are quite nice because they've got a proper hood on them so yeah that's pretty much the twins i think i think that's everything for them oh no actually bags i'll show you their bags in a minute um but apart from that i think that's everything for them so they like i said they kind of needed kitting out with <clears throat> with everything um everything new because well this is their first year at school so what have we got next <clears throat> next i'll do toby so toby had she'll consult my spreadsheet toby already had so he's somehow he's got six school jumpers i don't know how he's got six school jumpers but he has and at the moment he's kind of in between sizes and the school jumpers kind of jump from seven to eight to nine to ten so i've got both at home from Topa from noah so i'm not sure which ones i'm going to leave it um well actually no i was going to say i'll leave it till we go at school and that's next week i'm going to leave it and see which ones he fits in better because the seven to eight was starting to get a bit small um so it might be that you still have the nine to ten ones but i've got them put away so that's fine um i had some polo shirts put away. I had about four. Um, obviously, you know, not everything 
lasts all the way down but there are some bits that I end up being able to put away so that's good so I had about four polo shirts put away that were good to use and then oh here it is he had so just one five pack of of uh, eight to nine polo shirts and he needed I think he had she had one pair of trousers put away that would be fine for him but I bought him another two just your regular leg ones from Asda. They like the ones with the elasticated waist and the zip and the clippy bit on them. That's the ones that they quite like to wear with the elastic -y bit. Um, so yeah, they're always quite good because they're fairly easy to take care of. And although boys who tend to go through the knees, they do say these ones have got reinforced knees, but Noah still used to manage to go through them all. Um, I don't actually know how we managed to have a pair left over, but we did. Uh, so that's, so what else has Toby got? Toby's got, that's his tops and his shoes. So he's got, um, he had football short or PE shorts already put away. PE t-shirts, I've got loads of them because they're all the same house. So they all wear the same colour. So they all wear the same t-shirts. Um, so I've got loads of them put away. Uh, he's got PE trainers. Um, well, they wear trainers to school, so he'll either wear them or ones that he's got at home so he has got he chose he needed a new bag because i tend to if the bags are still quite good i tend to put them in the washing machine at the end of term and wash them up and they either keep them for another year lizzie has done this year keep them for another year or um i'll put them in the cupboards and somebody else might get some use out of it so he already had one last year that i think he'd had for two years because of covid and Noah had had before as well, so I said he could have a new bag. So he chose this one, which is it's a super dry one. He just wants it because it's camo, to be honest. So he's got. He's got this camo one. I think it is super dry, yeah. Super dry. So it's quite sweet. So that one's Toby's. Um, and he's also needed a new lunchbox because his, again, he's had it for like two years and it's, it's been through the washing machine numerous times and it just needed replacing. So he chose the Minecraft one with a matching Minecraft bottle, which I got from Asda. Um, and he's also got a water bottle, which I got these bottles from Asda. Um, and then I put their names on. Cool, huh? they look quite nice um but they're they're plastic so i'm not mad I don't give them glass stuff to take to school but he wanted one like his sisters have got so yeah that one um and then he's got and these are his new trainers um just black nike trainers nike nike whichever i think i got few pairs from Sports Direct so I think I got Toby's, Noah's and Eva's from Sports Direct. Um I don't know how much they were actually. I'm not entirely sure about twenty pounds or something. But yeah. They, the boys do quite like to wear trainers and um they're kind of at that age now so it's okay. So I think that's everything for Toby. Uh then it's Eva. So again, Eva already had a cardigan put away, although she, to try and get her to wear it, she just never wears it. She hates wearing school cardigans, but she's got one. She had, she likes to wear proper shirts. Um, so I had a few of them put away already and I bought her some more. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, here they are. I bought her two, two new ones. I think she's already got like three or something. Yeah. So I bought her another two. She likes to wear the proper ones, the short sleeve shirts. So she um she also has some trousers that were put away that I think were the twins, just black, like stretchy trousers from New Look. Um she what did she so they wore leggings last year and tracksuit bottoms, but because of obviously going back after COVID. So this year's kind of the first year that they've gone back 
for a few years where they can actually wear proper school uniforms. So she's got, she wanted to wear trousers. So she's got those two pairs of trousers put away already. Um, they do have ties at primary school, but they only ever wear them for assemblies and things like that. So um, we've got like a, a whole a whole thing full of about 10 ties that anyone just takes. Um, again, for her PE kit, she's got shorts up in her drawer. She's got um, PE t-shirts again that we've got put away. Um, trainers, she'll either wear the one she's wearing for school or she'll wear a pair that she's got from home um and oh she chose a coat like the twins actually so she's got a new coat because hers hers was terrible it had holes in it she didn't want to get rid of it but i managed to wash it and all the in, inside of it all clumped together she desperately didn't want to get rid of it but it had to go so she chose this one which is the same as the twins have got but just a, a bigger and in green she quite likes her um, camo stuff and her kind of khaki green stuff and orange and things like that. So she was quite happy with that. And again, it's got a nice hood on it, so that's good. Um, I think she needed a new bag. So she got this one. Don't ask me how you say it because I don't know. She got this one. Matches her coat. Um, I don't know how you say that. They chose them some make that Isabel wanted. Apparently they're really popular. Um, but yeah, so she chose that one. She looks a little smaller, but she's happy with that. And she also chose, she chose to have these, um, which are like, they're like Converse really, aren't they? But they're not. So she chose to have those this time round. I think they were like 12 pounds or something from, um, from Sports Direct. And because they've got like rubber ends, they'll last her quite a long time, I would have thought. So, yeah, she's happy with those. Uh, so, Eva also chose a Minecraft lunchbox. And she's got these bottles as well, which I got again and put her name, name on them. So, oh, plastic again. So that's Eva. Kind of trying to make sure I go for everything. Um, you have to excuse the state of the dining room, by the way, because these here are the boys' beds, which are still in the boxes, and that's Toby's new mattress, Joseph's new mattress. Um, we're hoping to do it this weekend, but it's kind of, it's the end of the summer holidays, and they use this room constantly. So there's just stuff everywhere. Um, so I'm just leaving it for now. So just ignore, Ignore the mess in the background. Um, okay. Sorry, I am brew break. Right, so next, obviously Noah is going up to S1. So he has got, um, so they're allowed to wear uh, the black school hoodies um, or school V-neck jumpers. He chose hoodies, which I have ordered um, a few weeks ago, but they haven't arrived yet. So fingers crossed they're gonna arrive for next week, but they're just like black hoodies. With the school emblem on um he's also just growing out of everything he's at that age he's 11 so he's at that age boy wise that he's just growing out of everything so he's got um new shirts because they are so they've got shirt tie um his ties up in the wardrobe um and jumpers so they've just got you know normal shirts I bought seven so that there's always a couple of spare um, and then he's got he likes the uh, he likes kind of the skinny fit stuff um, he's not keen on trousers really and he doesn't really like jeans I've probably told you about that before um, but so it's quite difficult knowing what to buy him but he's okay with these they're a little tiny bit too big because he's only little bless him so um but he was happy with them they were they were okay and they they're kind of a skinny fit adjustable waist from tesco's so a two pack black trousers can't really go wrong can you well you can actually with a boy especially because it's going to be really uncool and i know within about three weeks of being at school he'll be like i hate them nobody wears them but anyway so he's got them 
all the older ones if you watched our last video you would have seen about the socks them out in the garden with their socks with the holes in so they all have new socks not as much the girls because they don't need them but noah eva and toby all have new socks for school um and they're not having them until they start back at school so they're just you know black socks trainer socks but they've ruined all their socks so i'm refusing to give them the new ones until they go back to school i haven't put them in this though so the other thing Noah has got is a new coat because he grew out his so he needs a new one the kids most of them have only got one coat which kind of does them you know going out um winter summer uh school everything the older girls have bought themselves denim jackets and stuff over the years but um yeah they tend to just usually have one coat so they haven't got like three or four different coats he's just got a black i got it it's the next one he didn't want anything to stand out ish you know what they're like when they start high school they just want to kind of blend in don't they so he chose that one which is quite a nice one he just wanted something black normal i thought i had a blue hoop i could actually oh no it's got a blue inside insights for next these ones are quite nice actually because they also wash quite nicely unlike the mountain warehouse ones which when you wash them all the insides clump together and then when you put them in the tumble dryer to try and get the um stuffing out don't ever put them in with plastic balls because um or rubber balls because it nearly catches fire so um if you're going to use it use proper dryer balls and don't tell ben that i did that right he has also got um a new bag so i got that one from tesco's um i think it was 25 pounds reduced to 20 with the club card so i thought that was quite good he just wanted you know a boy nike kind of bag so i was quite happy with that one um oh the twins have got pe bags as well so they've just got i think these were just tesco like three pound ones so i'm going to put their names on on the front so uh, they know which one's which and they will just have plimp soles because primary one to three only do indoor PE, I think. Um, so they'll have plimp soles, which I've got two pairs of upstairs. Again, they get put away and passed down because um, they don't wear them very much. So they've got plimp soles, shorts they got from upstairs um, in their drawer and T-shirts. Again, I've got a big pile of blue um PE t-shirts from over the years so they just get kind of passed down as well so that's that that's all of those and all of those and all of those uh oh no shoes i didn't do no shoes so no one has got these ones which i'm pretty sure are exactly the same as his other ones but he's uh his feet have grown so he's a size five now so we needed bigger ones and I had to throw one pair away the other day because they were just hanging by a thread. And um, I'm sure these are the same as these other pair, but whatever. I got them from Sports Direct. It says 37 99 on the box, but I'm pretty sure I didn't pay that. I'm thinking that I paid about 20 or 20 something. So they're quite nice, just normal ones. Um, so that's all of those ones. So next it's the girls um i didn't actually need as much for the girls so lizzie's got she had pretty much everything already so she is um she's going to be a prefect this year so she has she only had one school jumper because last year if you've gone back if you've always watched our vlogs you'll know that last year i accidentally put her school jumper and olivia's both of olivia's school jumpers in on like a 90 degree wash cycle by accident and they're wool jumpers so you can imagine what happened they were just ridiculous anyway so lizzie's Lizzie, olivia wasn't bothered because it meant she got some normal black, plain black ones which is what she wanted anyway um but they're not cheap these jumpers they're like you know 20 quid each or something so lizzie only had one but she really wanted another school jumper so again hers is on order and she also has to have a blazer um a school blazer which at the moment she's got she got she brought one home which we paid for um but it's a size 38 so it's huge so i'm trying to find a smaller one at the moment 
I should have done it weeks ago, but I haven't. If not, that one's going to need tailoring, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be able to be tailored to be small enough. But anyway, um, so yeah, she she already had black trousers, which she's perfectly happy with. Lizzie doesn't really like many different things. So, um, you know, she likes what she likes and she likes that style of jean. She likes that style of sh shorts. She likes that style of trousers. So finding the trousers that she wanted in the first place was a bit of a nightmare. So she's happy with the ones that she's got. She's obviously going into S6. So she's not, you know, she's not too worried about having new ones. She hasn't really grown either way. So she, they still fit her fine. So she's keeping them. So she's keeping her shirts as well, um, which still fit her at the moment. I've said to the girls, obviously, if halfway through the year they find that they're getting, you know, stained or, or anything else, or they want new ones, they're getting too small. Um, I'll just replace them as the year goes on. So that's fine. So she had all of those. Um, she did need a new coat because her coats, she, she didn't really like it, to be honest. She wanted it. She ordered it last year. She didn't really like it in the end. So she's ordered another one, but it's still on order. So she's just ordered like a soft shell jacket. Um, and she wants something she can put over her clothes when it's raining and stuff and cold, but something that she can also kind of fold up small and put in her bag and not be bulky to carry around so she's got like a black soft shell I think it's a Tog 24 one from Next um but I think I don't think it's going to be delivered till about the 25th of August so but fingers crossed it'll be okay weather um otherwise she'll have to just wear one of her old ones actually she's got a mountain warehouse one that she's got for D of E but that was one of the ones that I put in the washing machine so it's got kind of clumpy bits everywhere but it still works so the only other thing that she needed obviously the girls have got um they've got these kinds of bottles but the double walled insulated ones um and they've i think charlotte and isabel got new ones because the lids on those were both broken um they just got tesco's had i don't know if anybody saw them they had the nice black like powder coated ones black and pink with the initials on so they've got those ones olivia is using the same she's had the same one for a couple of years like a double walled marble one she's using that one and lizzie has got the same one that she's had which is like a rose gold kind of one none of them wanted new ones and they're all still fine you know they last quite a long time they wash out because they're aluminium on the inside so you know that, that's fine they're using them um lizzie did get a new no, she didn't. She didn't get a new bag. She had a super dry one last year and I washed it up. She might have even had it two years. Washed it up. Absolutely fine. Looks brand new. So she's happy with that. Um, she's quite easy to please, actually. You know, when she was little, she probably got new stuff every year, like I say, because they grow. But when they get to kind of 15, 16, girls kind of don't always grow that much. So she's happy with and they also kind of like what they like. So she's happy with that. I did buy her a new pair of Vans because... Although she wasn't overly keen on having a new pair. Hers are really not great. She's like, oh, but they're fine. They're really comfy. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're really not great. So she just wanted exactly the same shoe again. So she's just got bands. So bands. Again, the so the girls, the middle three I bought from Sports Direct um, probably cost me a quarter of what the older four girls cost me. But in saying that, they also wear their shoes for going out and everything else as well so they're kind of not just school shoes um they do have other shoes obviously but not like loads and loads of pairs they only have like two or three pairs or something so apart from olivia whose feet never grow so she ends up with everybody else's shoes as well isabel spent um she bought herself a pair of nike Air react 270s in the sale for 60 quid one after one christmas she grew out of them within a few months for Olivia now. In fact, they're even a little bit too big for Olivia, so they fit Eva. So they've kind of, she wasn't impressed. But um, anyway, so yeah, Lizzie's just got a new pair of vans, exactly the same as rolled ones, just don't look as wrecked. So let's try and convince her to wear them. She'll probably wear her old ones until they break. But at least I bought them. Um, so. <clears throat> Olivia has already got jumpers that fit. She's just got black ones. Um, they're kind of probably not 
the exact school jumpers but she's comfortable with them she's got shirts that fit her um she's got trousers um that she's comfortable with and that fit her so that's fine she did have new school shoes um she got these adidas i'm not even going to attempt to say what they are for those ones so she was pleased with those she's got tiny feet olivia bless her she's a size four so the twins are now five and a half six and elizabeth is five and a half six um but olivia's still a four bless her her feet haven't grown for ages and even sometimes the four is still too big sometimes so olivia's got those and she also has a new bag i think yes yeah, so she chose this one this time got their bags from some of their bags from next actually um so she's got a vans one this time she just wanted they just want black ones really don't know whatever the latest thing is on them so she's got that one um i think that's it for olivia so then isabel and charlotte um charlotte's still got shirts from last year that fit her fine um isabel needed new ones because hers were still the ones from the year before but she was still happy wearing them so do you know i have such a problem in finding age 13 to 14 shirts and i mean we're even going back like three four weeks i couldn't find them anywhere next was sold out asda was sold out tesco's were sold out i couldn't get them anywhere i finally found some when i rechecked again like a couple of weeks ago in next so she's got age 14 i don't normally buy school shirts from next because they're a little bit more expensive um and they're just school shirts they're all the same i like to buy the ones from the supermarket because that that bit cheaper um I just couldn't get them anywhere, not for not for her age. So she's just got a five pack and they're just short sleeve shirts. So they just do what they say with him. And the girls needed, I do actually have school jumpers, but they wanted different ones. So they've also got um, just black, black, probably not proper jumpers but they're just black they're supposed to have v-necks but these ones got round necks so they've just got two each because they don't want to they have got their v-neck jumpers but they don't want to wear them anymore so they're like third years now aren't they so they want what everyone else has got so they've got these ones um isabel got <clears throat> she chose these trousers um which are actually really nice they're like they call them paper bag trousers i think you can see them properly so they've got kind of a slim slim leg they're from next with like a um pocket she likes her pockets they're kind of not overly girly um but a little tiny bit feminine and not like not flary and not um not too tight the list is, you know, I want trousers, but I don't want them too tight and I don't want them too flary. So these were kind of, I like these ones. These were really nice. So she's got two pairs of them. Charlotte has got, she needed new trousers. I say trousers, to be honest, they're leggings. They're not supposed to wear leggings, but um, she's got, I'll show you too long because I don't want to get in trouble. Trousers. Um... Both the twins needed new coats, um, but they are still on order because uh, Isabel had a new one, but she doesn't she doesn't like it. She doesn't want to wear it anymore. So I've washed it up and put it away for Eva. Um, and Charlotte's had that many holes in it. She desperately needed a new one. Um, but they are on order, which just reminded me I need to check and see when they're in. So the only other thing they needed was bags so isabel's got one like um they do look really small actually but so again same make she chose it um she really really only wanted it i'm not even going to try and say it this swedish although they look a bit little but it's what she wanted so 
they're meant to be like waterproof and everything they do feel kind of quite um i'm just not sure it's going to be big enough to fit all their stuff in but so she got that one and charlotte got a new nike one so all their bags from last year had had it um so i think the girls ones i washed up and they're using them for dancing bags now because their dancing bags had had it because they were the ones from the year before so they've gone um so they're using their old school bags for their dance bags and they've got new school bags see everything gets passed down and reused i hate i hate throwing stuff away i hate getting rid of stuff if it's not um if it doesn't need getting rid of i hate it i hate wasting clothes and bags and shoes and things like that so i try and i've probably spoken before but i try and put as much as i can into like the rag bag or the charity shop or if it's good i'll sell it um or keep it and pass it down i just hate wasting like materials and stuff you know i just it's i just hate it so we try and reuse as much as we can um even like when the younger ones they don't really understand brands and all that sort of stuff so quite often they'll get the older ones school bags and they're quite happy with that because once they've been washed a lot of the time they look brand new sometimes they've had it but anyway um the only other thing for the twins is they've both got converse both got the same size feet charlotte's only got a pair of converse but they've kind of had it so um they've both got new pairs of converse for school um they're both size six size six converse i think that's nearly everything um actually i'll just go and get the twins school bags okay so i think this is the last i think i've been for everything shoes lunch boxes obviously the older ones don't have lunch boxes so um they either come home for lunch um or they have their money on their cards or actually they have it on their phones now it's an app that they use um lizzie likes to take lunch with her Olivia likes to come home, Charlotte likes to come home, um, but they have separate lunch times. And Noah wants to eat at school and Isabel wants to eat at school, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so these are the twins bags. So this one's Leah's. So I bought these. These are from obviously my my side business, Leopard Fox. Um, and I did so that's Leah's one, it's got little initials on it as well. So I was quite pleased with that. And Leah's favourite colour is pink. Erin's is purple. So Erin's got a purple one with her little initials on it as well. Um, so they've got their little school bags, which probably will only have the lunch boxes in, but they're just as put to bits for having a school bag. So yeah, I think, I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, everything else, is, like I said, there's a couple of things still on order. Um, but that's the majority of our haul. It looks like quite a lot of stuff, but there's nine kids that go to school. So I don't think we've done too bad. Managed to reuse some stuff, bought some new. The other thing actually that they do need the older for is some stationery, um, but I haven't got around to taking them. Obviously no one will need a calculator and all those sorts of new stuff. Um, and the older girls just need topping up. They need pens. Um, and they need, I think somebody said they need a protractor or something. So there'll be bits and pieces. So I've got to take them to get some stationery um, in Tesco's probably. Uh, probably use my club card vouchers actually for them. So anyway, uh, I reckon price wise, our back to school is normally somewhere between 1000 and 1500 which again sounds like a lot but when you average it out per child it's um like between 100 and 150 pounds each roughly um i think this year it's probably been about 1200 maybe um so you know that's it's not it's not too bad really probably about 130 pound average per person obviously the older ones shoes and things cost more money but then they don't need as much uniform um it's all the bits and pieces as well isn't it you know lunch boxes bottles all those sorts of things but you know 
it's what it's what it costs to put them back so i think we do quite well averaging sort of 100 100 pound each and i mean that goes for you know that's including like their coats and all those sorts of things um so yeah we we budget where we can we buy things from different places we search around for good prices and but equally i want them to be able to have the things that they kind of want to have do you know what i mean um so that's quite important especially as they get older that's quite important for me for them to have you know the shoes that they want and the bag that they want um within reason because they don't they don't get lots of money lavished on them all the time they don't get like hundreds of pairs of shoes bought for them so for them to have like the latest pair of trainers or whatever to go to school um i know that they'll wear them at home and everything else as well and they'll look after them um so i don't mind getting them for them um as long as we can afford it obviously but i do budget way back once christmas is out of the way really um we're budgeting for summer and back to school um and then obviously once summer and back to school is done we're budgeting for christmas again so it's kind of all year budgeting for these things with birthdays thrown in as well um i am going to do a vlog actually about budgeting at some point um but i'll get them all back to school first and then we'll look at that one so anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video um i hope it's kind of been informative for everybody uh I always forget the bits that I'm supposed to say. You all know that I forget every time. But, you know, like, comment. We love comments. Love likes. Um, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, you need to subscribe. Um, please. Uh, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.